you I said in March that you would go to East Palestine, Ohio. You came here. How come you haven't gone to East Palestine yet? Oh! How come you haven't gone to East Palestine yet? Well, I haven't had the occasion to go to East Palestine. There's a lot going on here, and I just haven't been able to break. Hmm, you sure seem to be able to break to the beach, Joe. Well, it looks like he has run out of excuses, and he's now going to East Palestine. Fox News alert didn't see this coming. President Biden is finally agreeing to go to visit East Palestine, Ohio, one year after that toxic train derailment forced people from their homes and left the community in shambles. Peter Ducey, live at the White House. Peter, you broke the story. What's up? Well, we don't know. And the question for President Biden today is, what took so long? Has it been something that's even under consideration? I mean, I think what folks should understand and what folks should, I think, feel at ease is that the president has taken this very seriously. I was thinking whether I'd go to East Palestine this week, but I then was reminded I've got to go literally around the world. If you plan to visit Ohio to discuss the situation there with the trade with the people there the federal system. I've spoken with every official in Ohio, and I will be on the I'm going from uh, from Washington to India to Vietnam to, and so I, it's going to be a while. Does it simply not meet the bar for a presidential visit? Look, I don't. I, I, it's. It, I want to be very clear here. Um. Uh, the mayor of East Palestine told one of our White House producers, Pat Ward, earlier this month that his preference at this point, after a year, would be for President Biden, and this is a quote, uh, he said the best time for him to come would be February of 2025 when he is on his book tour. And the mayor there, Trent Conaway, also said, we have heard nothing from the administration about a visit. He also said, I don't know what he would do here now. I want to be very clear here. Um...